All right, I need to make this quick because I was literally losing breath just watching the show. Amphibia, latest episode, uh, two episodes. There's uh, basically one where Luz and Luz, sorry, I'll house on the brain, sorry. Anne and Polly basically explore, uh, it's lost in Utopia. Explore the town, explore Utopia. Remind me of the time me and my brother got the triple dog dare wings from Hooters. Uh, not sponsored. Uh, and then the next day was shitting fire. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but no, seriously, uh, that was not a fun morning after. But in any case, uh, they basically try to blend in, just, you know, try to have the Utopia experience, which leads to them disrespecting a Utopian hero, getting chased by the police, which I love one point where the police are chasing them, and the police go, we'll never catch him in this crowd, and the other guy goes, dude, what are you talking about? He's like, I'm lazy. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> or the fact that later on, after Anne and Lolly are being chased by all of the, these people, the cops are like, Hey, wait, are those the two guys? Are those the kids? Well, one of them is a kid. The other one's some strange, weird, and, Lu and Anne just goes, Just chase us already! <laughs> like, okay, and they chase I'm like, why the hell did you say that? Uh, they get chased. Uh, then they're having to break into the, the tour bus that they started in. Uh, which, again, I, I don't know. It's Maybe it's just my favorite trope. I love the adopted family. And I love, like... Like, obviously, I love how much, uh... I love Luz and Ida and all that stuff. And that Ida's basically her stepmom at this point. Uh, making Lilith her step-aunt. And, you know... Oh, ah, damn it, hold on. I forgot to turn off the fans. Uh, I was like, man, it feels so nice. And I'm like, oh, right, because the fans are on. But, uh... Sorry, so... No sound should be in this one. But, uh... Like, I love that so much, but I doubt we're ever gonna hear... Like... One, we, we come close. We hear it a little bit. Like, I don't think they're ever going to say... Maybe they will say at some point that Ida is basically her stepmom. Uh, but... Uh, like, but they do say at least that they are family. That's what I like. And this one, like, Pop Hop just says... Like, literally when the, the mom's about to grab him, they're getting, uh, you know, Polly and then Anne onto the bus. He goes, that's my granddaughter. It's my granddaughter, my step granddaughter. I'm like, that's cool. I'm like, that's 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 really cool. Like, it's not just like, oh, like, uh, it's not like, oh, okay, like, you know, like, it's it's that the character does see her obviously as family. So, like, again, not saying Ida doesn't see Lou's family or vice versa, but like, I like like, it's like yeah, that's my step granddaughter. <laughs> like, I I like that. That's that's freaking adorable. Um, yeah, they say there, um, and also then. Later on, uh, loses friend Marcy, Marcy, right? Marcy and the new king, which the new king actually looks like he's gonna be a good guy, hopefully. Also, uh, the 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 guy who's selling the super hot burritos, which my god, I actually want to eat something spicy now. Um, I'm pretty sure that guy was voiced by the singer who voices Grunkle Stan, which makes sense why there's a Gravity Falls reference because that voice actor is in the show. Not to mention uh, Mabel's voice actor is also in the show. At least was in the last episode, but uh. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, the Newt King and Marcy basically find a secret compartment, which it's not for a Newt hand. It's a frog hand, for one, to, that uh, they need to press, like, this thing inside. Um, and it really opens a secret passageway that leads down into somewhere underneath the castle, which I'm pretty sure is no surprise that it reminds me very much of the one from the uh, the planters house which my guess is that because the planters have a book about the music box and because it's a very similar thing my guess is whoever those planters are or maybe it's even the newt planter that uh, was in the shrub thing that maybe built it uh, that the planters are somehow connected to the music box obviously obviously and uh there's just some connection there uh even like again to the secret passageways I doubt that these two secret passageways also you see the golem outside the town 
Uh, next episode was more of a filler episode, kind of filler episode. It's, I still liked it. Um, uh, which was basically, and I guess you can say more setup. I guess. Uh, Sprig goes to college. Uh, <laughs> which that thing is, I to watch Owl House. I had to watch the ending of that because I set the timer to record Owl House five minutes before the show starts because sometimes scheduling either messes up. Or something happens that, like, you know, a show will be shifted sometimes. So I just put, like, five minutes beforehand, five minutes after the record. Um, and so I kind of knew the ending, but still, like, watching it from beginning to end. Like, the whole thing is Sprig goes there, he hates being in the college. And then, like, at night they lock up, like, lock up uh, bars and all that stuff. And, like, Pop Frog jumps to the conclusion, they're trying to kidnap him. Sprig's like, I'm a prisoner. Uh... Anne and Polly just, just want to get to a party. Um, and eventually... And, like, like watching it... I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's because I saw the ending, but I don't even think so. Because there's nothing in the episode to say that this school is evil. And, like, yeah. You lock up to make sure, you know, no one tries to get to inside at nighttime. I completely agree. Especially in this world where we know there's evil... There's things that are trying to kill you everywhere. But, um... This episode was fun. This episode was fun. I, again, like... Okay. With someone someone in the comments for one of my other videos, we talked about it. Like, Amphibia is where... Owl House is very much showing the progress of Luz becoming more of a witch and eventually also slowly unraveling the mystery. Amphibia is, to me, the opposite. Where... Where it's more along the lines of, again, in our house, there's kooky shenanigans, obviously, but all of it is set up for the end. I'm not saying there's not, I'm not saying the, like there's too much filler in Amphibia, but everything feels like it's specifically built to then come up to a certain conclusion. Um, I'm trying to think if there really is, like, I don't think there is, like, a really filler, like, episode. Everything sets up for something else later on. Um,. And Amphibia does have certain things that are like that as well. But I feel like Amphibia... Jeez, there's like a freaking... I don't know what the hell that is. Is that a cricket? Unlike Amphibia... Unlike Owl House, Amphibia feels more along the lines of... The, the mystery is there for those who want it. But really, we're just going to have fun in this strange world. And I really do love comparing these two shows. Because... Watching... Amphibia, it's very more upbeat. It's more... The backgrounds are more brighter. It's more colorful. It's lighter. It's a world that's lighter while still having very dark elements in it. But it's still very light. While Owl House is a dark world that is made lighter through dark... Like, dark humor. Like, much... I'm not saying there's not dark humor in between both of them. But I don't know. Amphibia's world feels much lighter, even though there's some there is some dark stuff in there, but it feels a lot lighter. While well, Alice is more of a darker world, but still has those light elements mixed in with it, which kind of just puts you like, mm. I don't know. I like both shows. Amphibia is still damn good. I want to see where this is going to end up. But again, Amphibia, at least when I watch it, it's less... It's I want to see the mystery, but it's really here to just give you some fun things that happen while... Uh, while uh, Owl House is more, it's all building up to the same story. It's all building up to the main story, to the main plot. Uh, but yeah, it, it's still a good show, still good, all this stuff. Um, I'm going to cut this one short because I talked a lot for the Owl House one, and then I took a break to go watch Amphibia, and I'm still running out of breath. But thank you for watching, please check out my videos. Hopefully you enjoy this. Please check out my videos. I Hopefully that cricket doesn't get anywhere near. But thank you for watching, please check out my videos, and we will. See you later. Yeah.